Kaylee, thanks. Today we're continuing our Big Green Chair Donate Life sit-in, and I am joined by Andrea Jacobs and her nephew, Ron, to talk all about the gift that your son, Donovan, gave. Thank you for sitting in this chair and bringing us your story today, Andrea. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about Donovan, your son. Donovan was uh, my third child. He was very energetic. Donovan was very helpful. So for um, me to be able to donate his organs to help improve the lives of other people, I do believe it was something that he would have done. Was that a difficult decision for you to make? It was. It was difficult. Um, eventually, I came to understand and appreciate the, the concept of donating organs and how it would help others. Um, it was just difficult for me to lose a child, mm -hmm. but to help someone else, it was, it came, it was natural. You said organ donation was a way for me to hold on and not have my son completely let go of my son. Tell us a little bit more about that. How has this helped you to do that all these years later? Donovan's um, died unexpectedly. He was 28 years old, so I had not prepared. Um, we woke up that morning together, and um, by the end of the day, um, I had lost a child. So um, I, to process losing a child um, was difficult. And of course, as a mother, I mean, I held on to the kids' art drawings when they were three years old. Right. I mean, as a mother, you hold on to everything. I still have a tub full of everything. Um, this was something that I had to let go of physically, but to be able to um, donate his organs, in my mind, I process it as not totally letting go of them. Yeah, and you actually got to meet one of uh, the people, Pete, who received one of his kidneys. What was that experience like for you? It was great. It was great. Um, I met Pete. Um, he contacted me um, early on, um, but I did not respond. And about two years later, uh, I reached out to him, and we met. And he, um, ironically, kind of, we talked about Donovan, he kind of understood Donovan. He mm -hmm. kind of said his life was similar. And um, he, um, it was a perfect fit. It so. must have been healing also for you to have that conversation. It was healing, because initially I did not want to, or I wasn't interested in meeting any of the recipients. I was happy for them all, mm -hmm. but I was still in the grieving process. So I met Pete within two years, still in the grieving process, but yes, it was healing. And I'm sure so many parents can relate to every single thing that you've said here today, but you said um, that this can turn, organ donation can turn one of life's most difficult moments into a new chapter. So what would you have to say to anyone who's kind of on the fence about organ donation today? I would, advise them to educate themselves more um, to, I mean, we, we're we all here to, to help someone and, right. and we all have a purpose. Um, unfortunately, um, life um, is cut short for some people, but um, if they are still able to help someone improve their lives, I would just say, just think about it and just pray about it. Yeah, and of course, you can always reach out to Life Connection at lifeconnection.org if you would like to sign up. Andrea, thanks for telling your story, for sharing your gift of Donovan with the donors. And thanks, Ron, for, for being here to support her today. Appreciate it. Thank you. More WTOL 11 News at noon right after this.